Hi, everybody. Welcome to Christ Our Light, Scripture and Reflection. This is Deacon Mark and Mary Beth Barter here to share with you both the scriptures and a reflection for today. Today is Tuesday, July 6, 2021. Let us pray. O oh God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the course of the night, Jacob arose, took his two wives with the two maidservants and his eleven children, and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. After he had taken them across the stream and had brought over all his possessions, Jacob was left there alone. Then some man wrestled with him until the break of dawn. When the man saw that he could not prevail over him, he struck Jacob's hip at its socket so that the hip socket was wrenched as they wrestled. The man then said, let me go for it is daybreak. But Jacob said, I will not let you go until you bless me. The man asked, what is your name? He answered, Jacob. Then the man said, You shall no longer be spoken of as Jacob, but as Israel, because you have contended with divine and human beings and have prevailed. Jacob then asked him, Do tell me your name, please. He answered, Why should you want to know my name? With that, he bade him farewell. Jacob named the place Peniel, because I have seen God face to face, he said, yet my life has been spared. At sunrise, as he left Peniel, Jacob limped along because of his hip. That is why, to this day, the children of Israel do not eat the sciatic muscle that is on the hip socket, inasmuch as Jacob's hip socket was struck at the sciatic muscle. The Word of the Lord. The response, in justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. Hear, O Lord, a just suit, attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. From you, let my judgment come. Your eyes behold what is right. Though you test my heart, searching it in the night, Though you try me with fire, you shall find no malice in me. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee from their foes. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. I, in justice, shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus, and when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Here are three little vignettes that I'd like you to think about. You're sympathetic to a charity and would like to help, but money is tight right now. Do you write a check or not? You've st stared at the ballot for a long time. Your portfolio wants you to put your ex by that name, but your compassion and sense of justice are pushing you to mark a different name. You make a reasonable case that you were not responsible, but your gut, you know that it was your fault and you should make amends. You know, we are constantly torn by moral and ethical decisions. How do I provide for myself and my family while acting justly and fairly? How do I live a life of integrity while taking advantage of every opportunity for advancement and profit? Like Jacob, it seems we're always wrestling with God. Throughout our all, all our lives, we wrestle with God over what is right and just, for what is good and what is selfish and greedy, what is thoughtless. Sometimes our wrestling with God leaves us, if not with a dislocated hip, then at least a scar or a bruise. And those scars, once they heal over, become reminders for us of what we have learned from our tussle with God. The key, of course, to wrestling with God, let God win. Let us pray. O oh God, every day you challenge us to speak your word of compassion, to be the means of your justice to the reign of the world, to be the builders of your kingdom of peace in this time and place of our lives. Let your grace enable us to realize that in our struggle to be a holy people, you are not the obstacle, but the way. You are not our adversary, but you are our help and our support. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.